Hey YouTube, want to talk about my new replica? It's a Dynex. This is the 1873 um, Western Frontier. Um, basically, Co 45. And um, you know, this one I got it nickel pl um, plated with the full um, ivy grips. The grips are plastic, but they're actually very well made. I actually just um, dropped it from, you know, playing with it or spinning it, and you know, nothing broke or chipped or anything else. So, came in the new Danix box. I also picked this up with um, some of Danix's ammo or um, full dummy ammo with the cap. Um, if you dry fire these, they will actually break. Um, there's these two little knobs, like this one here. So you have two little knobs, and those knobs are supposed to act like the ring or the rim of the bullet. So since there's only two of them, it's easier to remove the cap. So if you dry fire them, they actually one side or both sides will break off, like this one here. So they use regular. Um, Caps, these are the ones that came with the Denex brand. Um, basically, you pull them off and it slides right in, <clears throat> as you can see. Now, you have yourself a dummy bullet fully loaded with a cap. The pack comes with six. Like I said, I put them in and I dry fire them, so I broke two of them but I actually picked up six of these um, six of these packs you know to make sure you know that I always have my six shooter always loaded with six and not four like now okay let's talk about the gun let's move the box and right here this is the Danix like I said before 1873 Frontier um, handgun sounds real nice. Half cock also has the hammer, right? And then full cock at half cock, you can spin it one way, but you can't spin it the other way. I mean, you could if you jam it, but you know, you don't want to risk breaking any or anything. And then at full, nothing full cock, nothing spins, okay? And it comes with. Right, it costs like any true Co 45 style. You have your loading gate. Okay, and then you have your, your ammo or your shell. Exp um, what's, what's the word? Extractor. Yeah. So basically, you know, you put the ammo or your dummy in there and you take it out. But keep in mind, this is strictly. A model. It's not a blank fire. Um, it will not shoot real ammo. Um, the barrel is plugged. I'm not sure. You know if you could get in there and and see. Barrel is plugged to about here all the way down. Um, what else? Nice trigger feel to it. Nice weight. It weighs about five pounds. Here's the other side of it. Okay, so I'm gonna load up the round that we just did. So now what you do is you put on half cock, right? And then they say you're gonna load up each, you know, each one. You basically put a shell in. Next one, next one, like that. Okay, so we're gonna do one. I'm gonna slide it in your gate and you can orientate it almost close you find where you're at right there and then now you fire they are pretty loud but it's nice and fun so I'm gonna fire it and there we go
Oh, really supposed to put it on half cock. Okay, and then once you get it in, and it slides out. It's not gonna be like a perfect cap gun because, like I said, it's basically a model. You know, it's made for display purposes. It's made for a conversational piece, but it does work. It does um, fire caps. You know, strictly caps. I remember, there's a non-firing replica of uh, 1873 um, Colt 45. It says Denix right here, along with me in Spain. So, this is a review of my 1873 um, Frontier gun, and it's a beautiful piece of craftsmanship. Let's check it out. Oh, I picked this up at a website called um, DiscountColory.com I'll put a link below. Thank you.